Oh, my pillow is so... Okay, there we go. I thought it felt weird behind my head. Um, it is snowing and ugly out there. I thought for sure they would cancel bingo today, but they did not. Dad's on his way to go call bingo tonight. Because <clears throat> um, last night we had freezing rain all night long. And this morning everything was frozen. No schools around here today. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm ready for winter to be over, people. Tired of it. Tomorrow I will get out in it, though. We have a meeting up at the bank at 2.30. I think Ron's coming over early. We got to go over tax stuff and things like that. Because for our LLC, for the business part of it, that all has to be filed by the 15th of March. Well, they go away next week for three weeks, so they get home around that time. So we got to get all this stuff to the accountant while we can. Personal taxes... Like, it's regular. But for the business, uh, it needs to get filed. Or have an extension put on there. One or the other. Um, so, yeah. Feeling a little better today. My uterus and I are becoming friends again. Um, this weekend, we were not friends. I could call her many, many names, people. Many names! But we're okay now. Um, gonna watch the DVR. I'm gonna watch The Walking Dead. I'm gonna watch the Grammys. I'll probably watch that first because I fast forward through most of it. I just watch performances that I want to watch. Fast forward button is your friend. I tell ya. I do. I do. Um, I hope this weekend is decent out. I want to get out. Friday pool day. Can't wait. I think there's a new bathing suit out in the mailbox right now. Earlier this morning when it was still frozen out, Dad's like, go on, get the paper. I'm like, no, and you don't need to get it either. That same information is going to be in that paper tomorrow as it is today. So when Ronnie comes tomorrow, he could just ice skate out there and get it. <laughs> you don't need to be crossing the road to get it. Because we live on a main road. And I'm always afraid someone's going to hit him. Uh... Even though it's supposed to be 35 in front of our house, nobody goes 35. Everybody goes faster than that. It's aggravating. But okay, I'll be back again later. Well, it took me about an hour or so to get through the uh, Grammys. I fast forward through a lot of it. But tonight is the best in show for the Westminster Dog Show. But they still have like three or f three categories to go through tonight so it won't happen till later because I will watch that because yesterday the long-haired dachshund won the hound group so excited I, I'm in a lot of dachshund groups on Facebook and everybody was so excited um it was a pretty pretty dog named Burns um back in the day I used to be obsessed with watching the Westminster dog show this is back in the 80s when I was a kid 1988 I watched it, and that was the year a Pomeranian won. And I remember going, I'm going to have me a Pomeranian one day. And my mom says, that's never going to happen. Look at all the hair on that dog. Your dad's never, never going to let us, let you have one of those dogs. They're too hairy. They'll get hair everywhere. And I'm like, okay. They were just so tiny and cute. And um, fast forward about a year or two later, when I was like 16, 17, I babysat that summer for uh, a lady that my mom knew, and um, she happened to raise Pomeranians and show Pomeranians, and um, and she had a a male there that was a stud that people would have their females bred with, and uh, at the time I think he was in the top ten studs in the United States, and um, she was on the AKC board and. She was she was big into it, and so I would take care of the baby, and the baby went to naps. I'd go downstairs because they were all in these kennels, and I would take them out to the grass to run around. But none of them knew how to climb stairs because they're show dogs. They don't know how to do that. They're little, so I'd have to carry them up two by two and put them out in the yard, let them run around. And then they also had a, a Bernie's Mountain Dog, which is like 500 times bigger than the Pomeranians, and that poor dog was so shy. So I would undo his big. He had a big giant like 
area in the whole basement. I would open up his gate. I'd walk up the steps. I'd open up the door and just wait for him because he was really scared of people. He was a show dog that got destroyed by people banging on his cage. Some kids just scared him to death and he just was so scared of people. I remember one time out in the yard, I got him in the corner, I was petting him and he was so scared that he peed, but he finally got to know me. And finally it was, I was, I was like a normal person to him. I, he, I didn't scare him at all, but he was a beautiful dog. But, uh, I digress. I probably still told the story at one point back in the day, but, um, she had a dog there that she owned with another lady, but she was not show worthy anymore. And her name was Punchy. Uh, Millimore's little pun. No, something punch of pizzazz. She had a long name. The, oh, the the dog, the stud dog there was name was Millimore's. I'm a wind jammer or something like that. And he just went by jammer. But, uh, cause I started babysitting first upstairs was a mother, a black Pomeranian with two little tiny babies. I mean, they were just like, I'd let them run around the house a little bit and I would have to stand still or scoot my feet because they were just, and I was afraid one step flat gone dead. And, um, they were the cutest little things. And then, um, she had several show dogs downstairs and then she had one punchy that she wasn't show quality anymore. And she wasn't, she was just, she was ready to be, have a home instead of being a show dog. And she said, you know, I'll call the other owner and see if she, if she just wants to let you have her. And she, and so <laughs> I'm like, dad's never going to let me have one of these dogs. So I brought Punchy home for a weekend and that was, that was the deal. I said, dad was going to bring her over a weekend, see what we think. And then we just, she never went back. She stayed here forever <laughs> after that. Um, she was a cute, I wish, I wish I had video or pictures of her back in the day. Oh, there's so many pets I wish I had on video or pictures of. But alas, I do not. So me and the Westminster Dog Show have a history. I haven't watched it much in the last quite a few years. Um, it's, I, I see how the dog's walking across now. It's just getting ready to gear up for the evening. This is like the pre-show. I think they'll probably go over what happened yesterday. And then it kicks off in like a half an hour or something like that. Um, oh, that was a Pampion. Even, oh, there's a, a Collie. I gotta put my glasses on so I can really see what these are. I'm waiting for the wiener dog to come across the screen. Oh, that was a Carn Terrier. Okay, they're done. Dogs aren't running across the screen, any screen anymore. Speaking of dogs, taking these off again. I live in a small town, as you all know. If you don't, I live in a small town. And our, we have a family-owned hardware store downtown. And um, years ago, when I worked at the newspaper, they had a black lab who got old and passed away. And then they got Hank, who is a yellow lab, who's kind of like the mascot of town. Everybody knows Hank. Hank greets everybody. Hank likes everybody. Hank passed away yesterday. And here's Mr. Hank. Hang on. I'll show you Mr. Hank. Come on, Hank. Why don't you go? Well, hit. that's Hank. I know it's blurry. I'm sorry. But he's up there with Heidi Ho now. Everybody, all the, like, everybody's talking about it on Facebook, all the locals, about how Hank has passed away and everybody's kids are sad. And I told Dad yesterday, he goes, no. I'm like, yeah, because Dad always pets Hank and stuff when he goes in the hardware store. I think they have a bird in there, too. I don't know. Ooh, Iris Setter. Oh, we had an Irish, okay, this is just going into another story time. We had an Irish setter in the neighborhood, lived about three blocks that way. His name was Red. And um, every once in a while, Red would get loose. And he was a big dog. Irish setters are pretty good sized dogs. And I had a little calico cat at the time named Scruffy. She was an outdoor, indoor cat. She went, came and go. I could never have one of those anymore. I would, if, if Kitty went outside, I would panic about it all the time. But as I said, I digress again. But Scruffy was not scared of much of anything. She was a pretty spunky little cat. And um, we there's these pine trees in her backyard, and there's a walkway between them. And she saw the, the, the Irish setter coming across the yard. But the Irish setter did not see her. And she waited for him to go by. And she leaped up and jumped on him like she was riding a horse. 
and he just took off. And at the, my dad uh, saw it happen too, and he was laughing. And um, then he didn't come back for a long time because Scruffy scared the crap out of him. But one day, Dad was watering the flowers in the front yard. We used to have big flower beds in the front, and he was watering the <laughs> watering the flowers. He said, around the house, here comes the Irish setter just at a full gallop and just ran between him and the underneath the hose water. And and then right behind him was Scruffy just running right after to chase him. Oh, it was so funny. Scruffy used to crack me up. She wasn't scared of anything. That dog, all he had to do was turn around and bite her head off. But <laughs> he was scared of her. I didn't see him much after that. But all right. Enough chatting. I want to put these together. And I'm watching them get ready to watch the dogs. Bye!